G'day. Today we're going to be talking about the idea that self-improvement is supposed to be fun. Shocker, I know. And that you don't have to do things the most optimal or correct way in order to see the results that you want. What do I mean by that? I mean, you don't have to torture yourself. You don't have to do things the way that you don't like to do them. For example, if you find that keto works great for you as a diet, by all means do keto. But if you hate keto, if, you, if, if the diet just makes you feel absolutely miserable, don't do it. Don't force yourself to do it. There are plenty of other dieting regimes or eating regimes that achieve very, very similar results. Some might be even better for you. Do those instead. For example, if fasted cardio is great for you, if you find that you can just perform right in the morning, get out of bed, go for a run, no problem, by all means do that. But if you find yourself super hungry, super grumbling, and you just really can't concentrate and maximize your output in the morning, don't do it. It's really that easy. If you find yourself way more productive, and be honest with this one, if you find yourself way more productive by waking late and sleeping late, it's not optimal, but you can do that. But you have to be really honest with yourself there. You can't just say, oh, you know, I don't feel like waking up. I'm more productive at noon when I wake up at 11.59. You can't do that. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to give it an earnest try. Try sleeping early, waking early. Try it with lots of things. And this goes for things outside of your general sphere of self-improvement. It goes for everything. For example, these videos, I used to do them fairly heavily scripted. And I found that it took a lot of time and it was a very daunting task. I just thought, gee, I have to write down a script. I have to re-record every single line. I have to edit everything. But now I find it just way easier having a casual chat with the camera. Still, it'd be better without the camera, but I think you guys want to see my face, right? That's it, really. The idea of that self-improvement is supposed to be fun. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. Why would you make yourself miserable if it doesn't bring any enjoyment to your life? I know, it's a crazy concept to consider, but really, self-improvement, and really anything in life, is supposed to be fun both in the short term and in the long term. Don't say that, oh, you know what? Going out and drinking until I'm plastered and blackout drunk, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, it might be fun in the moment. What about tomorrow when you're waking up with a hangover? What about next week, next year, next decade when you've got a beer gut? That won't be fun. It might be fun in the moment. It won't be fun forever. Self-improvement is meant to be fun, short-term and long-term. For example, I was talking to one of my friends the other day and he says... He just doesn't like doing squats. He's fine with doing deadlifts, but he just really, really hates squats. So I said to him, don't do squats then. Do something else. Do the leg press. Do the hack squat. Do leg extensions. Do whatever. You can still train legs. And he, he likes deadlifts. He just doesn't like squats for whatever reason. That's fine. I won't make him do squats. It's really that easy. It's really that simple. And that's the idea. That's it from me today. Enjoy.